Let me start by saying it's great to be back in the school. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Every parent's worst nightmare, of course, is that their child falls victim to a sexual predator. But it's hard to know how to keep your kids safe. Yeah, it is. But today we're going to get some insider tips from a child safety expert and ex-pedophile, Terry Parker. Welcome to the show, Hi, Terry. Hi, Jim and Tracy. Thanks Hi, for having Terry. me. Oh, thank you. Some insider tips from a child safety expert and ex-pedophile. Some insider tips from a child safety expert and ex-pedophile. <laughs> Being now, here. Terry actually kidnapped and sexually molested children for over 20 years. He actually kidnapped and sexually molested children for over 20 years. He actually kidnapped and sexually molested children for over 20 years. And wow. he was eventually convicted of 13 counts of sexual assault against minors. Yes, well, that's all behind me now. I don't do that sort of thing anymore. I hate this. You say, first off, that a lot of the conventional wisdom we all know about how to protect our children from predators is actually wrong. Yes, for instance, a lot of people tell their kids, don't talk to strangers. Uh -huh. I tell my kids that all the time. Yeah. Right. Oh. When a pedophile is looking for a little boy or girl to take, he's not interested in having a conversation with them. He simply wants their small body pressed against his. So he's going to abduct them whether they talk to him or not. Yeah, you don't have to lure them into a car. You simply take the child where you want them. They're bodies that are so light. But you do recommend that parents try to make their children less attractive to pedophiles, right? Right. Clothing is a huge factor. If you put a girl in a sundress and French braids in front of the average pedophile, he's going to get an erection that'll rip his bike shorts. Well, that's good to know. Yes, it is. So what should parents do? Dress them in dirty clothing, mess up their hair. Still, this will only deter about 90% of all pedophiles. You know, personally, I prefer a kid that looks a little rough and tumble. Before we go on. Personally, I prefer a kid that looks a little rough and tumble. Before we go on. Personally, I prefer a kid that looks a little rough and tumble. Before we go on. Personally, I prefer a kid that looks a little rough and tumble. Before we go on. <laughs> I have to discuss the situation that no one wants to face. Your child is abducted, uh, there's no ransom note, so you know the motive isn't money, it's sex. And how can a parent hope to get their child back? First of all, he or she won't be a child anymore. No? Any childhood innocence will have been stripped away the moment the pedophile's sweaty arm goes down your kid's pants. Uh -huh. Your child's best bet is to grab a sharp object to stab at the man oh. with, like a pencil, which really? is actually how I got this. Ooh, I bet you didn't get very far with that kid. Not that one, no. Well, Terry, well, thank you so much for being with us this morning and opening our eyes to this situation. And if we can just protect one child out there from people like you, we will have done our job. I'm glad to help. Yeah. Thanks, Terry. Okay, coming up next, out of the frying pan and into the dryer, a new way to make pierogi. Yum, yum. Cream-covered boy? Cream-covered boy. Wait a minute. This has to be a trap. But then again, it's better to know.